Good evening. As many of you know, Angela King has given her time and talent to this gala and to supporting OMAD for countless years. From all the staff, students, and leadership at OMAD, thank you, Angela, for your unwavering support and your willingness to engage with and mentor our students. It is my honor to welcome all of you to the University of Washington Office of Minority Affairs and Diversity and the Friends of the Educational Opportunity Program Annual Gala Celebration. As we begin our program, we acknowledge and thank the Muslim members of our community for joining during Eid al-Fitur. We know that Eid al-Fitur is a very special holiday marking the end of the month's long dawn to dusk fasting for Ramadan. So we thank you for choosing to be with us. We come together as one community tonight with the purpose of celebrating progress, celebrating the people who have given so much of themselves for our community, and celebrating the hope and potential of tomorrow's leaders, our students. I invite you to fully participate in this evening of community building and to immerse yourself in this year's virtual experience. Thank you for bringing us into your homes, offices, backyards, or wherever you are this evening. We appreciate you. I want to acknowledge some honored guests who are with us this evening. President Anamari Kase, Provost Mark Richards, UW Foundation board members, deans, vice presidents and vice provosts, the President's Minority Community Advisory Committee, and Native American Advisory Board members, and of course, Friends of the Educational Opportunity Program our amazing fundraising board who are tremendous advocates for OMAD and our students. This event would not be successful without them. I also want to acknowledge Dr. Karen Johnson, the recently appointed inaugural director of the Washington State Office of Equity. Former Vice Presidents of the Office for Minority Affairs and Diversity, Myron Apollato, Rusty Barcelo, and Sheila Edwards Lang, the family of our beloved OMAD colleague, the late Dr. Gabe Gallardo, his wife, Veronica, and children, Adrian, Daniel, and Stephanie. We thank our honorable regents for their time and support throughout the year. And finally, our very own Emil Petrie, this year's Odegaard Award recipient, and his wife, Barbara, their family, and their friends. We will hear more from Emil a bit later. I would also like to thank our Celebration 2021 star presenting partner, AT&T. Thank you all for joining and being a part of this community of support for our students. It is no exaggeration to say that we live in a vastly different world today than we did even just 12 to 14 months ago. March of last year, students, faculty, and staff quickly pivoted to distance learning and working remotely to protect everyone from a highly contagious virus. Washing hands, wearing masks, and watching our distance became acts of compassion and a part of daily routines for many. And as we all know, 2020 was also a year of tremendous loss and grief. Yes, loss of life, but also loss of traditions, loss of time with family and friends, etc. Many of us were aware, but the last year has made even clearer the inequities in healthcare, housing, employment, digital access, education, and the need for the university and other institutions to review and change policies and structures that limit the success and opportunities for underrepresented populations. While the pandemic has been a collective trauma for us all, Soon served by OMAD and their communities are among those most gravely impacted. So the need going forward would be even greater for these students. The need for scholarships and student emergency funds has never been greater. When there are so many troubling things occurring, it can be hard to be optimistic and hopeful. But throughout these challenging times, there have been beautiful acts of humanity. We saw the resilience of our students as they continue to show up and learn despite navigating multiple challenges and uncertainty. And we witnessed the love and affection matched only by your generosity after the passing of our own 
longtime OMAD leader, Dr. Gabriel Gallardo. Over the past year, many of you and so many more across the nation have helped ensure Dr. Gabe's legacy lives on at the University of Washington and within OMAD. Last year, the Dr. Gabriel Gallardo EOP Fund was established and raised more than $52,000 to support students in the OMAD EOP program. The fund will go on to support students in the Educational Opportunity Program in perpetuity. The staff of OMAD, the university, and I sincerely thank Veronica and the rest of the Gallardo family for continuing to share Gabe's memories so that his legacy always lives on. When we experience the loss of a loved one or are grieving because of the loss of traditions and everyday experiences, it can be difficult to find inspiration or hope. It is the students who continue to be a source of hope and inspiration for me. Brilliant minds reaching higher, going farther, and dreaming bigger than generations before them. The real impact of your investment isn't just about today. You are investing in the future. Your gifts help lessen the burdens and obstacles many of our students experience. Their focus can then be spent on excelling academically and participating in high impact activities like research, serving on important university committees, and studying abroad. In turn, they lead, they mentor, they push for institutional change that many of them will never experience and benefit, be the benefits of. They do it to make access to education just a little easier for the ones who will soon stand on their shoulders. As you enjoy the evening and are immersed in your community, keep in mind the impact of your investment in OMAD and EOP programs. I thank you in advance for your gifts and generosity, and I look forward to reporting back to you on the impacts of your investments being made here tonight. <laughs>